Hey everybody. So I wanted to talk about this and whatever. I know a lot of people feel like this where they may not. And honestly, I don't care. And I was just trying to like, you know, let it simmer for a second. But my thoughts on Beyonce and the Grammys. Beyonce has 32 Grammys and has never won album of the year. Now, I know there are people who say, well, fuck the Grammys. Why don't y'all do the BET Awards? Don't, don't, don't get me started on how I don't watch BET or how whitewashed BET is. And I, I just, mm, nope. Don't get me started on that. Or why can't you just be happy with all that you have? Isn't that good enough? And I'm going to tell you why that's a problem. Because people feel like they have the right and ha have exercised this unjust power over black people to limit what black people have. Oh, we'll give you 32 Grammys, but you'll never get congratulated for album of the year. Anybody who works hard at a craft, okay? I don't care whether it's singing. I don't care whether it's acting. I don't care whether it's uh, medicine. I don't care whether you're a lawyer or a teacher. You want to be acknowledged for your work. And the bottom line is, I don't know what the fuck else Beyonce can do after performing pregnant with twins back, leaning back with a mic in her motherfucking hand and them giving that goddamn Grammy to fucking Adele who's not even an American citizen. Now, I don't say that like, oh, only American citizens can win it. I do say that in the sense that I know white people will congratulate white people to remind black people where they belong. There's nothing you can do. That is to remind her of her place as a black woman. We'll give you this, but, but see, you can only have this based on this, that, or the other. Beyonce has done B-Day. Crazy in Love was a crazy ass debut album. That was her first one. B Day, I Am Sasha Fierce. Um, let's see, Beyonce, I mean Beyonce self titles, Lemonade, Renaissance, Black is King. Beyonce dropped her self titled album with no fucking promotion, changing the motherfucking game. Seriously. Coachella, when she did that and embraced the HBCU experience and put that shit on stage, not just anybody can pull that off and did it well. And then you have chicks like Taylor Swift, who two days later, after Beyonce does Coachella, has these people with drums and this sort of pink outfit as if she came up with it herself, having no idea about the history behind that kind of music and appropriating it and still winning these Grammys. Let's talk about how gracious Beyonce was when Kanye got up there on stage. You don't get me started on him, but saying, I'm sorry, but Beyonce had the best, whatever. And Beyonce so graciously gave Taylor Swift an opportunity when she had won another award to come back and give her acceptance speech. Everybody went off on Kanye. Yay. If Beyonce would have been a white woman who did that, it would have never happened. But if Beyonce would have been a white woman who did that, everybody would have been talking about how gracious she was and how classy she is. All the things that Beyonce has done, okay? And I'm not suggesting, no, what I am suggesting is this is white people's way of telling you this is your place. And I don't, I don't give a damn about what's happening over there in Britain and the awards they gave her. She's an American citizen. And this is the same thing they've been doing to black people for a long time. Just so you know, in the words of Chris Rock, when you are white in America, the sky is the limit. When you are black, the limit's the sky. All that she has done. And I remember my heart kind of just broke when she performed like that with her twins, pregnant with twins. And then you had these white women up there like Adele say, oh, I look up to you and you've done so much. Well, when and give her the damn award. How about that? And I remember Beyonce sitting there with like tears in her eyes and people, maybe it was happy tears. Maybe it's just a lot of emotion, but something in me felt like Beyonce at that point felt like, damn, what else can I do? 
as big of a music star as I am, how hard she's been working since she was like, fuck, six. What else can I do? And they are still giving it to these white women as if they're more talented than I am. As if they created a better album than I did. To be able to reinvent yourself as a woman, as a black woman, to be pregnant multiple times, bring your body back and do what she's done. She is the Michael Jackson of her time. Michael Jackson didn't have to have no babies. Let's, let's be real. Women are judged differently on their bodies. And it's pissing me off. And we can say, yeah, sure, you should be happy within your community. But let me, let me explain something to you about the danger of that. And particularly white liberals like, yeah, I mean, what's wrong with you all's awards? See, there's nothing wrong inherently with being black. Yes, but the minute you have to have to separate, it's because you've been isolated in other spaces. And the bottom line is the Grammys know she's the best. But they don't want to acknowledge it. That's the game. And no matter how big she gets, no matter how famous she is, that was to remind her that she's a you know what. And black people know what I'm talking about. So Beyonce, I don't give a fuck. You are the, you are the queen, okay? And I'm sorry that they've done this to you because the bottom line is I do think that must hurt. And people can say, oh, she has all this money. That should be, you, let me tell you, you can't cuddle up to money at night. Some of us have had our bills paid and still been depressed. Some of us grew up not wanting for anything, still depressed, lonely, don't like ourselves, don't even like looking in the mirror. I know, because I've been through those kind of emotions. And it can be devastating. So as a black woman, I stand with Beyonce. And I'm not going to play this game. I already know there's going to be some people, oh, well, she's light-skinned, so she got a head. Don't nobody work as hard as Beyonce. Hard work beats talent only when talent doesn't work hard. Catch. And Beyonce has both. She's outworked everybody. Period. There's no reason why she shouldn't have won the Grammy for album of the year. And shame on the United States. Shame on the Grammys. Shame on racism. And speaking of which, while we on white people trying to keep black people in a place, specifically black women, did y'all hear about Ruth Simmons, who used to be the president of Brown University in Rhode Island, the first black woman to be a president of an Ivy League. We know that there's a new black woman coming into Harvard. But anyway, um, Ruth Simmons, Prairie View A&M, a historically black college, but part of the Texas A&M University system. Well, she had announced her decision to leave the presidency last year, which is what a president's supposed to do. So it gives him time to do a real good search. Um, well, she stepped down just a few days ago because she claimed in a statement um, that she was informed recently, and this is a quote from her, I was informed recently that I can only continue as president with limited presidential authority. My immediate response was that I could not and would not agree to being president in name only. And this is what she said in the statement, and then she writes why she's leaving and how she's enjoyed her time at Prairie View. So my immediate instinct when I saw the headline, I was like, oh gosh, a black woman is leaving the presidency of HBCQ, Washington pathologize it and say, oh, it's black people doing this at HBCUs, and that's why she left. And she made it clear that, um, let me get this man's name right, who's the president of the text, the chancellor of the system. His name is John Sharp. And he was like, well, presidents do have limited power when they're leaving. They can only hire people as interims. And that's so the next president can hire who they want and make decisions for the colleges within the Texas University system or the University of Texas system. The Texas A&M University system. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, and that sounds reasonable, right? On the surface and it, okay, sure. The difference, however, is he didn't explain to us what she said. She said, I'm not gonna be president name only. The only thing a president does as president of a college is not just hire, top administrators we don't know what she was trying to do what kind of funding she was trying to pull in what kind of gala she was trying to put on to ensure steady flows of funding to that hbcu and yeah her approach probably is different because she's worked at private universities and she'll be joining rice university there in texas still in academia so on and so forth 
but Rice is private, right? So she wouldn't have to, you know, um, be under the scrutiny of the Texas A&M University system. Certainly not when you're trying to work for other African Americans. That can be burdensome. So I just say this once again, and that's why she left early. She didn't pathologize black people. Um, the Prairie View, what, what was it there? I want to say their alumni association, you know, thanked her. They they said they understood that the rules seem, well, at least their representative, well, like the rules seem different for a black woman at the end of her tenure making these decisions. And if she was so hell bent on power, trust me, she would have fought that. She would have fought that until June 1st. That's all she had left. But she refused to be a puppet. And so then they come with this kind of loose language. Well, who said she was only trying to hire people? That's not the only thing she mentioned. She was like, I'm not going to just have the title of president and then I'm not able to still run my school or run the institution. So this is happening from the music scene to academia to daily life with black women being passed over. That's why I'm saying something. And I have a problem with that. And if you're watching this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think. Um, because I, the thing is, YouTube, I have all these watch hours, but people are subscribing um, as often. But thank you to all of you who have. But anyway, um, so we can talk more about this because this is important for us to have these conversations. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.